Hello everybody, this is Dr. Imran. I am going to present to you another interesting lecture of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. And in this lecture, we will describe about Kirchhoff voltage law and some examples related to Kirchhoff voltage law. Kirchhoff voltage law is really important law in electrical engineering and in a circuit analysis. Let's watch it and enjoy. Before we describe about the Kirchhoff voltage law, let's discuss about the concept of the voltage rise and the voltage drop. We consider this voltage source. So you can see the polarities of this voltage source is positive and negative, while this end of this voltage source is voltage rise and this end of this voltage source is voltage drop. If we go from voltage drop end to the voltage rise end, then we will write a plus sign with the voltage of this voltage source and if we go from voltage rise to the voltage drop end across this voltage source then we will write negative sign with the with the voltage of this voltage source if we consider this resistor you can see the polarities of the resistor plus and negative and vr is the voltage drop across this resistor so if we go from the voltage rise to the voltage drop end across this resistor, we will write a negative sign with VR, which is the voltage drop across this resistor. And if we go from the voltage drop to the voltage rise end across this resistor, then we will write a plus sign with the voltage drop across this resistor. So we use this concept before we apply Kirchhoff voltage law to any circuit. I draw a circuit having a voltage source and a resistor and apply KVL on that and let's see how I apply the KVL. This is a voltage source and it is connected to a resistor making one closed loop and this is the polarity across this voltage source and this one is the polarity across this resistor R while the resistor has a voltage drop across H which is uh, shown by VR. So we apply KVL following the clockwise direction like that. So the KVL around this close path will be shown as V minus VR is equal to zero. So you can you can see here that if we go from voltage drop to voltage rise end of this voltage source so then we write plus sign with the voltage of this voltage source and if we go from the voltage rise to the voltage drop end across this resistor then we write negative sign with the voltage vr which is the voltage drop across this resistor try to understand about this concept before you apply kvl to any closed loop or any closed circuit so let's discuss about the Kirchhoff voltage law now. It is the algebraic sum of all the voltages, that is voltage drops and rise around a closed loop is equal to zero and that is shown by this equation. V1 plus V2 plus V3 Vn is equal to zero. So more compactly the KVL can be written as summation n1 n is equal to 1 to n Vn is equal to zero. Let's consider this uh, circuit which is a closed loop and apply KVL on it. This closed loop consists of three circuit elements 1, 2 and 3. Circuit element 1 has a voltage across it which is shown by V1. Circuit element voltage is shown by V2 while circuit element 3 has a voltage V3 across it. And look at the polarities across uh, the circuit element 1 plus minus across the circuit element 2 which is plus and minus and uh, across the circuit element 3 which is minus and plus. We apply Kirchhoff voltage law following the clockwise direction like that and the Kirchhoff voltage uh, law equation is shown by this expression v1 plus minus v2 plus v3 is equal to zero if we go from voltage drop to the voltage rise end of this uh, voltage of this circuit element one then we will write plus sign with the voltage of this circuit element 
and if we go from the voltage rise to the voltage drop it end of the circuit element and we write minus sign with the voltage of the circuit element and if we consider this circuit element and if we go from the voltage drop to the voltage rise end of the circuit element then we write plus sign with the voltage of the circuit element hence we can get another equation of the KVL V1 plus V3 is equal to V2 which clearly shows that the sum of voltage rise is equal to sum of the voltages gain. Hence, this is another important definition of the KVL, which is mostly used in many books. We consider an example in order to further illustrate about the Kirchhoff voltage law. In the circuit of a figure as shown here, find Vx and Ix. Vx is the voltage drop across this uh, 100 ohm resistor while Ix is the current drop across this 100 ohm resistor and you can see in this figure that the resistor is connected to two voltage sources 5 volt source and 7 volt source beginning with the bottom node of the 5 volt source we apply KVL clockwise around the loop and hence we get this equation of the KVL 5 volt plus 7 volt minus Vx is equal to 0. You can clearly see from this equation that I have applied the voltage drop and voltage rise concept across any circuit element. As I have ex explained a little while ago. After solving this equation Vx is equal to 12 volt. If we know about Vx then Ix can be found from this relation Vx over R. We have Vx 12 volt and we have the resistance of this resistor which is 100 ohm. Hence, uh, Ix is equal to 120 milli ampere. We consider another example in order to understand about uh, the KVL in further detail. In the circuit, there are 8 circuit elements. This circuit so it has 8 circuit element. This one, this is circuit element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Find VR2 and the voltage level VAB. This is VR2 we need to find and this is VAB we need to find this. VAB is the voltage across this VAB terminal. To find VR2 we apply KVL around the loop while break the circuit at AB points and keeping them open if we find vab then we don't need this circuit and we disconnect it and hence the above circuit can be shown by the following circuit you can see here that the a and b terminals are open so if a and b terminals are open there will be no current across these a b terminals and hence we can have only one close path here and then we can apply KVL easily around this cloth path and the KVL equation around this cloth closed path is shown by this expression minus 4 plus 36 minus V2 is equal to 0 minus uh, 4 is the voltage across this resistor 36 is the voltage of uh, this uh, independent voltage source and this is V2 you can clearly see that I have used the concept of a voltage rise and voltage gain while applying KVL around this closed loop. So after solving the above equation, we can find VR2, which is 32 volt, and which is the first part of this example. Once we find VR2, then we can have another loop. You can see here, this is 32 volt with this polarity plus and negative while the 12 volt source and 14 volt source are here we extend the ab point and give the name vab which is the voltage between v and b and hence you can see that we can have another closed loop we apply kvl again on this closed loop and the kvl equation for this closed loop is shown by this equation 32 plus minus 2 plus minus 14 plus minus VB is equal to 0. You can clearly see again that I have applied the voltage rise and voltage gain concept here in order to find a VAB. 
after solving the above equation we can have the VAP which is 6 volt. This is the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe, like and share my channel EEF. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.